So we have the Triton code machine, high security code machine. I sort of just went into this making keys and hacking around and making mistakes. To turn it on and off is quite simple. To turn it on, we just got to give it a little turn and it resets itself and recalibrates and all that other stuff. So, and to turn it off quickly, if you make a mistake, boom. On the back here, the other error I did is this can actually go in a couple different ways. Uh, they say it can't, but if anybody can screw things up, it's me. So this power cord can only go in, you should only put it in this way. I put it in where I put it in going down. And they say that can't be done, but I did it. So it goes in quite nicely. That's the proper way. So that's a mistake I made. The other thing you have to be careful of is, and I've done this. I put it in like that and I locked it down. And I'm not the only one who did this. Somebody else was playing with the machine. And they did it too. So that's wrong. So make sure it's flat and both sides are in. Common error. The other thing, it is a precision machine, so make sure you clean it all off and in between cuts and you, and you have no filings. So again, that's a very popular mistake. Whenever you change the jaws or you think it's out, recalibrate the key machine. And it's a simple process, so we just turn the machine on. So when you put on a new jaw, I just go through jaw, jaw calibration, and the touch screen's quite nice. And I'll put what I'm using. That jaw. Ooh, and here's a mistake I almost did again, because I was engraving with this. I gotta take out the cutter and put in a proper cutter. So for safety, turn it off. And I unplug it, and then I'll just hold it under here. So there's the engraving cutter, and I'm going to put in. So what's this cutter here? So this is the cutter for cutting keys. Snug. Make sure I have the proper cutter in here. I pressed the wrong button. I calibrated the wrong jaw. The machine caught it. So this is what I like about this one is it catches dumb mistakes I make. Calibrated again. Here we have calibration is successful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.